Welcome back to the workshop everyone. In today's video, I'm joined by a very special guest, my girlfriend. Hi everyone. It's the first time on YouTube and the first time in the workshop. So I'm gonna teach you all the machines. The project we're gonna be making is a heart-shaped candle holder. <laughs> you had never woodwork before, right? No, ever. This is my first time. Okay, so Very I'm gonna excited. yeah, I'm gonna try and help you not cut off a finger. It should be a lot of fun. I appreciate that. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually scared. Yeah, this is beginners friendly. It, how do you know that? It is. <laughs> so you can try along at home. Yeah. Oh, you're a natural. Okay, <laughs> beginner friendly. Let's get making. Okay, so I need to pick some wood for the project. We've got sapili. Hmm. We've got elm. That's too big. Do you know what wood you want to use? I didn't know I had this. Let's... Wow, this is... Fancy this is, yeah, this is a real deal. This is a lovely bit of pine. Very rare, so I think we should use this. Yeah, yeah? happy? Okay. First injury of the day. Ouch. So, the blade is spinning this way, so you're gonna feel a bit of resistance. And this pushes against the fence. And you're gonna push this through. Then you can grab the other one and push that. And push that through. Do you know what I mean? Uh -uh. I'm gonna do two there. No, no, you have to go all the way through. You have to go all the way through, or otherwise, what's gonna happen to the wood is gonna shoot back. So, you. No, I don't know. No, it's easy. It's a bit faster. These hands, look. Look at my hands. Yeah, you don't need to push down really hard. This is very easy. All you need to do is, with your fingers, push the piece of wood against the fence this way, mm -hmm. and then push forward. Because <laughs> when you're going across the grain, it's easy to chip. So you want to go slowly like that, okay? You want to move the piece away from the blade and bring it back, because you kept going, and then you started pushing at the back of the blade. And if you push at the back, then it can like catch and flip. So as soon as that piece is cut off, move it away, bring it back. Okay, so we're gonna drill a hole into the top of these. To mark the center, I'm gonna line up the two corners. setting up the camera. You don't want to lift up all the way out because then when you go back in, it can miss. So you want to, you just want to lift up like that. Like that. Perfect. Pretty good. So the next step is to draw the heart. Okay, so we'll cut out this, yeah? And then we'll use that as a template for the other side, trace it, and then we'll cut out the other side. Before we cut into the real thing, we'll do some test cuts. So I'm just gonna draw a couple of curves. What you wanna do, because we don't wanna follow the line, so cut this curve out on there, but cut like there, you know what I mean? You don't wanna ever put your hand in where you wanna cut. So you can cut, you can hold it there and hold it here, and then you can move around and hold it here. A bit too close, turn it. Also, wait, if you feel like you're going too close to the line, you can go back. It doesn't do that tight of a corner, so you have to go to there, and then there go, and then bring it out, and then cut it off.
basically trace it and do the exact same thing. On the bandsaw, which way do we want them to go? Like that. Trace around with a pencil. So now that's an accurate line. I'll cut that on the bandsaw and then we go back to the sander. And then it matches and then we can chamfer the edges and colour it. quite quick. You like hold it there, hold it there, hold it there, hold it there. Okay. So I'll show you. So you can round over the corners. See, look at that. That's nice. Thing is with a brush is it gets a brush like holds a lot of liquid and then it can spill over the edge. With the, the towel, it like absorbs a lot, do you know what I mean? And then you can kind of smudge it where you want. Sorry. You spilt some, did you? Yeah. <laughs> My lovely workbench, staying forever. I'll fix it. So do one at a time, and we'll spray it like this. That is the candle holder complete, everyone. I think it came out really nicely. It's a really smart, simple project. How did you find it for your first <laughs> woodworking project? It was pretty fun. I was actually surprised at the amount of machines that we needed to use to do yeah, something. Yeah. For such a small project, we managed to fit in the table saw, the band saw, the planer, the bobbin sander, and the belt sander. I think the bobbin sander and the band saw was your where you felt most comfortable. You are really good at the sanding and uh, the sawing. <laughs> so you want to be back in the workshop with me? I want to be back in the workshop Okay, with that's you. good. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video, everyone. Thank you for sticking to the end, and we'll see you very soon for the next one.